Let's continue if you want to start from where you left off, or select Start a New Game to begin the whole adventure again. Alright, we're playing connect. <laughs> start a new game. Pretty sure this game requires me to be standing, unfortunately. I have my TV pretty low, so hopefully it doesn't pick up on the mic. Well, this is the base version of the game. There is a version of Connectimals that has bears. But mine is just tigers. How's the mic, by the way? I turned down the sensitivity a little bit from last time because of the constant peaking mic, which was an issue. Might as well sit my ass down for these cutscenes, Jesus. It's one sly looking face. He's up to something. Yep, I've done Sonic Riders for the first stream. Wait, there is a bear. Oh no, that's another cat. Just a really black cat. Welcome to Lemuria. Please excuse the commotion. Everybody is so excited that you're here. Acula, are you an adventurer? An explorer? A mountain climber, perhaps? Well, you're in luck today, my friend, because you've come to a very special island. Skittles? Yeah, I forgot they called them Skittles. Too long. By the way, I'm Buffalo. But enough about that. We've got to get you to Fur Town. The Cubs haven't had someone to play with since the captain left, and that's been a long time. We call this the bonding circle. It's a very special place. Do I get to pick my tiger? I kind of want the um, the traditional Skittles, like the connectable that everybody knows. You? Yes, you. Denied. Now, if you swipe at your left, you can look at the Cubs to your left. No, I want Skittles. Are my notifications showing up okay, by the way? Thank you, Don. Thank you for the uh, half a year. Okay. I gotta go this way. That's it. Now, if you swipe at your left, you, you can look at the Cubs to your left. I want him. What do I have to select it with the orb? No one knows who 
I gotta turn this up a little bit. I was using my remote. I wasn't going back. How do I select my time? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I see. I have to do it over the hand. No. Not you. Not you. Skittles. Yeah, the fur technology isn't bad in this game. Also, the grass is pretty good. Feels like I'm on stage for the Connect demo at E3. Where'd my hands go? Yeah, I'll adapt him. Yep. He's on the cover of the game, so he's the best one. So many things come to mind. Honestly, calling them Skittles would be going according to the lore. I'm still leaning towards Skittles, because whenever I see this game, you just think of Skittles. <laughs> I was going to call him Little Bastard. Come here, Little Bastard. Oh, there he is. But that's a pretty long name. Yeah, I'm thinking it's got to be Skittles. Skittles. Skittles? So if you're wondering why it's, we're calling it Skittles, that's because that's what they called it on the E3 stage. For the demo of Kinect. Scan a picture to identify this cub? No. No? No. I guess it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Looks like you're ready to go see where you'll be staying off here on the island. It is a really good looking game. Ports time. Did that notification show on screen? I can't see. Thank you, Katsai, for the three months. Look at that door handle, it's a compass.
What is that thing? I have no idea. So this game actually has an ending with credits, I imagine, right? But there's a lot of padding in this game. I guess it's more like an interactive movie for the kids. I didn't know this game had so much story. They should have had the kids running in place to keep up with the tiger. Because I've been playing this game for like 15 minutes and <laughs> barely had any interaction. I can imagine playing this with a huge TV, though, as a young kid, would actually be kind of cool. Still can't interact with this thing? Hey, Jeremy. Oh, hell no. No! I thought I was done jumping after Sonic Freeriders. Oh god. And here I'm like, this will be a nice relaxing connect game. Nope. I ain't fucking killing my back right now. I'll play dead by getting on my goddamn knees. Whenever I lay flat on my back on the ground, it just fucking kills my spine. It's one of the worst things I could do to my back. Form a trick jump. I, I gotta be careful not to jump too high because I've got statues and shit in here, and I don't want it knocking stuff off the shelves. <laughs> it's a very real possibility. A trick spin. That wasn't good enough. All right, let me hold my hands up so the connect the text that I'm actually spinning. It's a pretty smooth spin, though, right? A trick star jump. Nope, I'll spread my fucking arms because I got to be careful the way I jump. Protect it. That should have been good enough for you, game. Come on. Ah! 
I can't fucking jump like that. Like, I can, but I, it's really... T it'll be too much momentum for this. Stuff will start falling. Alright, how about I extend one leg? Maybe it'll detect that. I'll put my left leg all the way out, and I'll lift my other leg. Oh, I got a timer. Damn, they... Connect ain't fucking messing around, let me tell you. They know when you're cheating the system. I can't. I can't. I don't have the space to do something like that. Yeah, fuck that trick. You'll have to learn another one. Throw that shit. Why is it not throwing? Boy, they're lucky that even though I'm left-handed, I can still do this right-handed. Why is it not throwing? It's gotta go really fast. I slapped the little tiger. Can we hit the rabbit? Can I hide on him? Apparently he don't want to play hide and seek. You would expect that to be a thing, unless it comes later. And you, they really want you to. Why is that not throwing? Like, come on, too fast? Underhand? Overhand? Throw the goddamn tennis ball. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Joe, for the sub gift. Thanks for opening up prize. It just really does not want to hit that one over there. Oh my god. Maybe I gotta go like this? Well, he did it for me, apparently. Thank you, Skittles. Hey, look at all those coins we got. What's that over there near the fence? Do you think that's a path? Let's check the map. Can I already tell I pulled a muscle on my back? Hey, look at that. They're saying Skittles. Isn't that cool that I named my little tiger Skittles now? Gold medal awarded at 14,000. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Are you freaking kidding me? This hit detection, is it too hard? I don't get it. Terrible, terrible hit detection. 
Why is it going all the way over there? Oh, it can detect where I stopped. Damn. I got next leveled by connect. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, it's still not, like, super accurate. But yeah, it really detects how, how much you're swinging. Come on. It's still not, like, as accurate as you would want it to be. Come on. Come on, almost there. Get it. Nice. I can't believe that it's actually that accurate with detecting stuff like that. Oh my god. Like, I'm trying to lightly adjust, I just... Sometimes it can be hard to feel the adjustment. For the most part, though, it works. I'm sure it would work even better with someone with the ideal play, play space. It's actually kind of fun. Look at that shot. I do it with the other hand. Charles, thanks for the subject to be here. Trying. Up there. Nice. Did you see that shot? Damn. Look at that, like a master. That's actually a really fun game, not gonna lie. Damn, I'm not even halfway to 14,000. I kind of want to do that again. That was pretty fun. Now that I understand how it works. Now we're going to MLG this. Can you do both hands? I think it was still detecting my other hand. There we go. You just can't miss. That's the hard part. Just don't miss. Shh. Nowhere near where I was aiming. I didn't mean to do that, but alright. No! No, I'm not seven foot four. Link, thank you. Thank you for the sub gift as well. Are my notifications showing up? Because I kind of have that off the side of my screen. I can't really see. Like I can, I see the list, but I don't know if they're showing on stream correctly. No, that was my chance for points. They're not showing. All right. Fix it after this. God, what? That shot was such crap. That, 
when that happens, that's such crap. I feel like that throws accurate whatsoever. Look at that shot, that was good. Wow, that is so hard to get 14,000. You really just can't miss, ever. Couldn't even get 10,000. Do you get... Oh, I got extra coins for that? Did they give me more coins for doing it a second time? Or no? There we go. The alerts are fixed. Hey, Panda. Yeah, that's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Easier than Sonic. Less intense than Sonic so far. I mean, no Kinect games are going to be 100% with their detection. But this one's pretty impressive with how, how it detects my swings right there. Hey, Zip Boy. This actually seems like it, it's probably an amazing game for a little kid. No. I've done Sonic Freeriders, Chop Pock, D La, Re La, Le La, whatever the hell that meditation game was, and then this game. Open Toy Box. Now that I'm an expert at this. I like how he picks up my slack. Give me those coins. Oh wow. That's a good bonus. Toy box. Open toy box. It only detects one motion. I'm actually very surprised how accurate this is detecting my movement and, like, kind of where I'm placing my hand. We good? How do I get out of this? Open toy box. Didn't get any coins for that, though. All the places 
places into on the island. If you hover over the house, I'll show you something really cool. You can now visit the island shop. Go ahead, hold your hand over the shop button to go there. We can buy new toys. Loading times are a little unfortunate. You must have for sale. Almost every day is something exciting and new washes up at Fiddler's Beach. These weavers are so quick that you can usually buy things on the same day they found them. You see over there? That's the shop. Be ready. These weavers are a bit odd. Here it is. The Ivy Shop in all its glory. It might not be pretty, but you can get just about anything you ever need right here. Hover over the icon to take a closer look. This guy is known as the Serious Gamer. He might actually be the only one of his kind. Gamers are usually quite chaotic. Let's go see what they have. Got 200 coins just for visiting here. Let's see what this is. Wait, you can decorate your house in this game? That's kind of cool. Check out the lamps. When silver, oh no, no, it's all locked behind the mini games that I can't beat. Yep, you gotta you gotta get good at the mini games, unfortunately. I was expecting to be able to use money. Oh, that money must be the money I have in my inventory, maybe? They didn't give to me that money, that's just in my inventory. But now what? Like, how do I... How do we make some progress? Fur Town? I guess I gotta keep playing that mini game until I get enough points. Greetings, Fur Town. We have returned. <laughs> no looking. Oh, so you can recruit a bunch of different animals to different villages, I guess. How do I go back to the map? Map. Open map. I'm very surprised that it's not detecting me speaking to you guys as picking up commands for the game. The crew used to come here a lot to play games or just to walk around with the paddocks. <laughs> Open toy box. Sometimes your animals go and fetch any item it wants to play with. Got to be able to get more points somehow. What do you got to pour the water in? Oh, it's already in there. Water tech, not the greatest. Can you clear the water? No. Ten points. We need the things with the big points. Choose whether or not to play with the item by holding your arm out to the right for yes, or to the left for no. Maybe they'll give me more points if I play when he wants to.
feed the frogs? Oh. Maybe I need to be closer? That's totally not where I was aiming. Okay, maybe I gotta move more to this way? Making progress, but still nowhere near we need to be. Open toy box. Open toy box. Apparently we're still playing. I wish it would aim where I'm like actually aiming. Stand next to the forty seven months. The juicy forty seven months dorgasm. How the hell am I going to hit that last one? I don't know. Seriously. They just they just said this screw it, this guy sucks so much, just move on. Didn't even get the point bonus for it. Open toy box. It actually works better than you would think. Run his ass over. Nope. Only if you give me points for it. This actually works very well, surprisingly. Ooh, take that, you little bastard. Yeah, hit all the Skittles, including my own Skittles. Holy shit. That was a brutal hit. Okay, that was the, one of the better mini games so far. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh shoot, we're actually gonna race. Okay, I can do this one. We're gonna go for that 7,000. Easy. Go. Oh god. Oh no. Jesus. Gotta do Ridge Racer drifts around here, boy. Nope. No jumping. Unless I get points for that. Whatever, screw the jump. Can't reverse? Easy. Easy. Come on, you gotta be shitting me. Man, 7,000 is definitely doable. What am I getting scored on again? Am I getting scored on how fast I do it? I'm not sure what they're having me do. Driver on the track before the time runs out. Hit the bubbles for extra time bonus. So how do you get more points? Ooh, look at that. Oh shit. Damn, we're really drifting now. And you gotta jump for that? Oh, you got it. Look at that tight cornering. Come on, that's gotta be 7,000. Look at that, 8,200. Still didn't beat the, uh, the number one AI, though. That's actually, that controls way better than you would expect it to, by the way. Like, surprisingly responsive to my motions. Not as jank as you would think. still see me right connect I'm still here open play box open toy box well more so visible for the connect because I don't want to pause in the game if the texture not there it'll uh it'll pause <laughs> I think we just gotta go back to the map. It's hard to tell how to make progress in this sometimes. It said I got new toys. Probably the cars, right? Yeah. 
Menus in Connect games can be really finicky, from what I've seen. I think we're about to unlock another area. He ain't playing tug of war. There you go. Yes. Maybe it'll give me more points. Because the objective is you have to get enough points to unlock more map areas. Boom! Look at that. World record incoming. Even backed up straight into them. Yeah, honestly, graphics better than Halo Infinite. Yeah, I can see that. Imagine this game in 4K, 120 frames. Back it up. Did you just see that ninjutsu I did to back that thing up and hit those toadstools? That's pretty good. I won already? Okay. Should have been longer than five seconds. Open toy box. Open map. Woodland Glade. How do I unlock the next? Oh, Piggy Seal Stone Circle Derby. How do I get the next area though? Do I have to do those two other medals? I thought I unlocked the next map. Damn, I might actually have to get good at this. Let me do at least try and get 10,000. Alright, let's be really careful here. Oh man, I thought that was going to hit the rebound shot onto that. Close. A 
I'm not aiming that way. Come on. Oh my god. It's that's the the main thing I've found with Connect so far. When it works, it's amazing. When it doesn't work, it's like one of the most frustrating things. Same deal with Sonic. Like, I'm not aiming that way. What is going on? I can't beat this game. This this mini game is just too difficult. You need, like, super accurate connect controls. You can't exit the minigame that you're in. There's no point to continuing because you have to get 10,000 points, otherwise there's no point in playing. Like, I, I failed too much already to get 10,000. How you can't skip out of here is beyond me. Open toy box. Exit mini game. Exit game. Pause. See, like, there's no way out of it. Just wish it was more accurate. I mean, I got more coins. It gave me 40 more, it looks like. So it does actually look like you could grind that for more points. I'd do the car minigame instead any day. That one's actually really accurate. Wait, I wanted to skip that. There we go. Skip, you have to put your left arm down, hold your right arm out. Open map. Open map. Open map. Well, I mean, there's only one damn place I can keep going to right now. I think this game unlocks progress too slowly. Like, I shouldn't have to keep replaying these same two games. Just give me content. Stop prolonging the experience. Alright, let's see. If I can grind this for extra coins every time I win, this is what I'll do. I should get 80 coins for, for winning this. You know, I don't even know if I need to go for the extra time. If I'm good enough, I might not even need it. I don't think it gives me points. Like, if I could just ridge racer myself around this turn fast enough, I think 
think I can do it without getting those. Pay attention to my gold. I do- wait, I got 180. Wait, I can totally grind for money with this. Alright, we're gonna go for the time boost skips, so we're gonna just ignore all the extra time and see if I can actually do it in time. This is the speedrun tech right here. Like, I can get that one, it's fine, but the other ones I don't need to worry about. Only the ones on the inside. I'm not even trying to go for those. Oh, I see the better way to do it. Just hold your bottom hand, use your top hand like you're driving with one hand. That actually works pretty well. Yeah, I can do this without the extra bubbles. The extra bubbles gave me, what, 15 seconds? So I'd be cutting it close, but I'd be able to do it with just enough time left. But, they don't give you as many points. Yeah, if you don't get the time bubbles, they don't give you as many points. So that time I only got 100. Alright, let's get to 1,000, because that's probably the threshold for the next map. So hard to get. Damn. One more lap to do it. <sighs> that one is so hard. About 7,000. Thank you, sir. For, thank you for the 43 months. Use the drift boost. Yeah, I've been ridge racer in my way through this. Open map. How do I still not have a new location? What the heck? I don't understand. Yeah, I am controlling the, the car that the tiger is on. I don't know how you unlock more. I thought I had enough points. Open toy box. That fur does look pretty damn good, though. You can actually see it moving as you brush it. New items and toy box. Okay, 
So it's not the money, it's the points that I'm getting for doing stuff like that. So you just gotta keep doing random shit like that with them. Open toy box. Large balls. It looks like we're gonna get a point bonus for using this. Because we haven't used it yet. Well, Shimagami Tensei games are pretty crazy right now, so if you're gonna sell it, now might be the time. If you need some money, if not, hold on to it. You can just use your arm. How is that not detecting? I also gotta make sure I'm not slapping shit around me here. It's really easy to get distracted and like totally forget your surroundings and knock stuff over. This is one of those mini games where unfortunately the play space does matter. Yeah, it's not detecting that. What if I move closer? Come on. I think you actually have to kick. Look at that. That is a chain for you. New area unlocked. Yes. Yes. Hey, Nordstar. Okay. 4,000 points. From 400 to 4,000 in order to get money. Alright. Let's hope this is a minigame that actually works. Who needs FIFA when you can play Connect the Mice? Take both pain. Alright, alright. Round two. Now I'm probably gonna have to start moving left and right. Yep. No! 
Better be careful I don't slip on this freaking mat I have. Holy shit. It's pretty slippery. No, you actually have to move. Damn. I better not stand on my mat while I do that. I might slip off. It's pretty slippery. Now it's not detecting. It won't detect the one on the right now. Damn, it won't detect that one. That's messed up. That one works fairly well. Except for the one where it wasn't detecting my right kick. That must be nice and cool. I think your cub will want to come back here. Wait up, fuzzballs! New area? No was it your own echo? Look up there. Oh look. Now we can make babies. Where did the other thing go? Where's the thing? Where'd it go? I've already lost two followers for streaming connectables. People can't handle the baby tigers. Sure, if you give me more points. Now the frame rate's tanking with this new cub joint. What? I traded out my cub? But my, I miss Skittles. Open toy box. Okay, so when it has that little star, that means there's something new in there, and I think you get points for using it. That's not my Skittles. Who's this imposter? Okay, well, I didn't quite throw it yet, but all right. After you throw the disc, lean your body to control its direction. What? Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, I think we finally got the new area? Or was that the kickball thing that I unlocked? I think that's the kickball I unlocked. It's a 
far one. Should be a new record. They didn't give me credit. What? What do you want to do now? Pick up the crispy? Keep throwing it? Get all the Skittles. Pretty accurate throw right there, though. Look at that. A much more accurate with the frisbee. Whatever, that works. <laughs> I love it when they intervene. Oh, we're actually almost halfway to the next activity. Oh, I thought that was going to knock down the top ones. Oh! Oh, shit. Did you see that? That was awesome. What was that? Three for one or four for one or something? I've got to say, though, for a kid's game, this is a pretty legit fun game. Like, the mini games they have are very repetitive, but when they do work, like, they're kind of fun. They just have a lot of filler, like, a lot of downtime. I don't even know if that was necessary, but I think it was. It's actually, it's a really nice environment, too. Games like this showed so, so much promise for the Kinect. It's kind of a shame that it couldn't take things a little further. Kind of finicky over here. It doesn't like when I stand this far off. How tall am I? Just about six feet. Like five eleven and a half or so. Probably lost half an inch over the years with my back decompressing and all that, you know. Probably getting all squashed down sitting in this chair for the last half a decade. Oh, I had to dig. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game has achievements. I don't think I have them enabled, though. Or if I do, they haven't popped up yet. <laughs> I don't think there is. Can't wait. Yeah, the, the tiger cub has learned how to help dispose dead bodies with me. Sure, I'll play with that toy, because it'll give me more points, right? Oh my 
god, this is my least favorite one. I can't stand the accuracy of this. Oh, we got a new minigame. What is that? Looks like we're going to be bonking gophers on the head. Tricks in the grass. Yep. Yes. At least the cutscenes offer a nice little break. Watch out! The log is probably wet. Wow! It's even more beautiful than I remember. This is the obedience contest. Get the tub to perform all the tricks that come up. Then you have to find the form. Oh, God, no. It's really fun. Come on, give it a try. Crack the back. Oh. 30,000 points for more money? Oh my god. Hey, I did it. It actually counted that one. It's nothing but jumping? Is that because I haven't unlocked any other tricks? Bullshit. Get your tub in position. Uh, Bend over and tap your knee. Like this. Or say, sit down. Sit down. Lie down. To get your tub to lie down. Thank God they take voice directions. Like this. Stand up. To get your cup, stand up. Just hold both your arms up nice and wide. Wait, jump? Jump, jump, star jump. I was done jumping with connect fucking spree riders, goddammit. Sit down. Stand up. Oh, wait. Sit down. Stand up. Lie down. Sit. Stand. Lie. Sit down. Sit down. Stand up. Stand up. Lie down. We got the gold medal. That's a lot of gold. Nope. Open toy box. Toys. Open toy box. Guess that doesn't work. Oh, 
Come on. Where's okay? There's the new toy. Man, cycling through this menu, they couldn't have thought of a better way to do this menu. Like, put the items around the screen and then you just point to it. Throw. Ooh, oh, I thought we got a new game. We're almost kind of to the next area. We still gotta unlock one more mini game and then that watering hole. <laughs> the combo of bouncing it off his head. this one's name, because the other one's called Skillis. Oh, if you throw really low, it just skates on the grass. Halfway to the next mini game, almost about a third of the way. Oh, now halfway. What did I do? Because I cleaned it. Open toy box. Open toy box. This guy is way more rambunctious than my other tiger, I think. Oh, a spike collar. Now he gets to be a badass. Oh no, that was the default image. If you're caught wearing a collar, you can also add pendants to make it look really cool. I'll try view toys. Yes. You always got to accept when they want to play with a toy, because if you do, you'll usually get more points for the next area. Ooh, look at that. We hit the jackpot right away. Hey, it's like we're watching Jurassic Park now, with the mosquito. Yeah, I can't play the Harry Potter Connect game because it goes through the entire story of Harry Potter. And one of these days I'd like to finish watching those movies because I don't really know what happens. 
So that is why I won't be playing that. But yeah, it's one of the more... Ex the, the hardest one to get is honestly Dragon Ball Z. That is the most expensive and rare connect game. Oh, I forgot to dig, damn it. Harry Potter is not, like, rare, but it's one of the more pricey ones. Kill pain. I might have missed your resub from 20 minutes ago. Sorry, I obviously can't hear notifications, so. Thank you. I forget if I thanked you. Thank you for the three months. Um, yes. Ooh, my favorite toy. I actually really like this toy. This one's fun. I would have totally, like, for real, if they came out with a Kinect game that was just driving around the little RC car with these exact controls, I'd be all about that. I look like I'm directing, like, a plane to land at an airport or something. Look at that, though. Next level skills right there. Yeah, imagine an RC racing car game with, like, online multiplayer. God damn. Sign me up right now. Because this is actually super fun, not gonna lie. This RC car shit is the best thing about this game so far. Because it works. And he's helping me. Oh, nice. You little bastard. You see that? Oh, close. Oh, no, we only got one second. Get it. No, oh my god, did they? No! What? We hit that at the 0.0, .0 mark. Oh, we got a new area. Metal Land Dash. Please tell me that does not mean that I'm going to be running in place. Yes. Yes. All guys? I don't I don't think so. Please no jumping in place. Please. Jumping is my least favorite thing to do in Connect Games. That grass, though. Run as fast as you can to. Oh. No. Oh my god, running and jumping? No fucking way. Please, no. Am I just jumping? Oh god, please.
Just don't make me run in place, that's all I ask. Oh my god, they actually want me to run. Okay, I think you can actually just move your legs, maybe? Are they, like... Cheater. What the hell was that? That's it. He's getting whipped after this. Oh. I think I gotta jump where those things are. Duck! Swipe to get the hell out of that minigame. Open toy box. Ooh, a bunch of new points. This is the best game ever. View brush. Open brush. Unfortunately, I don't think that works. Dynamical system. Thank you, Dynamical. Thank you for the 10 months. This is the best game ever. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. For a kid's game, though, it's pretty legit. Like, it's... Especially if you have an entire empty room to play this in appropriately. I can see this actually being incredible for a young kid. I'd actually highly recommend this for any of you that have kids. You know, if you have a Kinect or you need to get a Kinect, I would buy a Kinect for this game for your kids. It's, it's actually that good. Thank you, Game Dust. Thank you for the nine months. Getting all lathered up there, yeah. Get the top of the head. We almost got the next area. Uh, they do not, unfortunately. They need to be backwards compatible. Must have been so exciting for the young kids to unlock a new spot to go to. Yes. <laughs> Gotta aim low and look at that. Boom, you can get all of them at once. That's the speedrun strats right there. Starting a forest fire out here. Oh, those are two good shots right there, though. Um, I think eventually they introduce, like, they just randomly dump this wannabe Skittles on me. But I would imagine you eventually unlock all of them because there's like villages where you unlock more baby tigers to live in their own village. Yeah, Chloe's looking a little different today. 
I mean, this is the next step of Monster Rancher, you know? Which, by the way, I really loved Monster Rancher 2. I started looking into the other Monster Rancher games. Monster Rancher 4 looks freaking amazing. It's really disappointing that that game is expensive. I really want to play that game now, though. Monster Rancher Evo, I had no idea that game was as weird as it was. Like, music, rhythm game, RPG? I kind of want to play that one, too. Some crazy lore here. Fiddler's Beach. Looks like there's one, two, three, four more areas. So there are six areas in total. Yep, you said it, Connect. Oh. Kitty, no. New discovery. It's exactly like I remember. Oh. Wow, this place looks nice. I've never seen another area in this game outside of the first starting area. It makes you wonder where else you can go. How can you guys hear me when I sit over here? I talk a little bit louder, but does it pick it up okay though? Milo and Otis all over again. At least this time, no, it's not animal torture. Has my mic been peaking at all today, now that I have the sensitivity down a little bit? Ready, set, let's play! Damn, that looks- this looks good, though. This game really looks good. Open toy box. It's like, what do we go to a volcano land or something eventually? Close. Really? Open toy box. See, there's them speedrun strats. You guys ready? I held onto this collar. So that way, when we get to the new area, I've already got an ability to get more points to get further in this area. Because this is from the previous spot. Why it doesn't default to this thing automatically, I don't know. Yes. Yes. The aim of this game is to hit the ball back and forth with your animal. When the ball goes left, hold out your left hand to hit it back. Oh, at least I get to use my hand. Hold out your right hand to hit it back. Why don't you give it a try now? To get you started, roll the ball out. Your hand above you, hit it back. 
This actually works really well. Pick up that speed. Oh, what? It missed? How's the music? I can, like, hear it a little bit. It sounds pretty nice, actually. That mist? Come on, don't cheat me like that. What? I hate it when I get cheated like that. Come on. I'm getting a point every time I hit it back and forth with him, so you can actually just sit here grinding points by continually hitting back and forth. I think what it is, I was reaching too far to the left. this for the rest of the game to unlock everything. I wonder if there's an achievement for this if you get like a hunger. Because I can just keep this going forever. Let's keep doing this until I get to number one. That way I unlock something. Might take a bit. I bet you that a leaderboard for this would have been awesome for maximum volleys. Some say the person is still playing to this day, still working on their record. Nothing usual, thank you. Alright, let's get to 100 and then stop. Because, yeah, this is going to take forever. Just in case there's a, an achievement for getting to 100 or something, you know? This is by far the most accurate thing in this game yet, though. As you can see, I've done 90 inputs and none of them have dropped. In before number 99 drops. How do we end? <laughs> 20 coins for that? Come on now. Open toy box. Really? What the hell? The menus in this are terrible.
It's even worse than Sonic Freeriders. How do I get more games? How do you make progress here? <laughs> Let's see. Rally the ball ten times. Maybe they just want me to keep playing with the ball. I think I actually have to do this until I get to the number one. I think so. This is the only thing to do here. Which is fine. At least this one's fun. Ball? Wait, two balls? Oh, that'll be awesome. Oh, shit. Damn, things are getting real now. How? Wait, how? It's not hitting that one. Why is it not getting the other one? Maybe I gotta hit one or the other. I think that's what it is. Now we got somewhere new. Just had to play with our balls for a while, that's it. Then we get to the next area. We call this Captain Falcon. One of the lines from the Bonnie Barnet ran into the cliff over there. Yes. Your cubs see me too. I think your cubs got wind of the rumor. Hell yeah. Get the longest rally you can within the time limit. Keep the ball out as long as you can and get bonus points for hitting the multi ball. But whenever I go for the multi ball, it, it drops my inputs. It's like I have to choose one or the other. But we're totally getting that gold medal. There's no way. Because watch my points go crazy with the, the bonus multiplier. The question is though, is it going to be worth getting the bonus ball if it means dropping my combo? I don't know. I might ignore it. Because when I tried that before, it just wouldn't work. What? Oh, time right now. Pick up the pace there. Okay, the pace actually is quick anyway. Oh, we hit the double ball. It came to the same spot. Now this is the pace I'm talking about. See, that one, I just can't hit two at once. Oh, you can hit both. It's just the hit detection is a little weird. I think it just needs to know where my other arm is at all times. So in other words, only use one arm for this, and then the other arm for the other one. Good, good. Oh, 
What? Yeah, that multi ball bonus is not worth going for. If I can get it, it's like usually only when it's on the left and the right like that. But when it's like top and bottom, or top, bottom and like left or bottom and right or something. That's a little too hard then. Ooh, the double just in time. Double ball slap. I think I just got enough to get gold medal. Oh, yeah, okay. Fireworks outside, by the way. Toy box. Oh, did I say no? Because I was sitting over here, it detected no. <laughs> Open toy box. Open toy box. Worst menu in gaming history. I can't believe they couldn't think of a better way to handle it. Why is the newest item defaulted to the last spot? <laughs> like, things like this. You know, a new item should be the default. Right in the face. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a fun game. For what it sets out to do. Crabs are just kind of chilling. Oh, they're dancing around. You should just be able to say open toy box like and immediately go to your toys. So glad you found that hope. Let's find out if your kitty likes wet fur. Yes. Oh boy. It's like one of those games you play at a carnival. Hmm. 
that hose spray and tech though. Almost got all through. Got to just whip it around a little. That's quite a hose. Halfway to the next mini game. See the the idea is you just gotta know which one's gonna pop up. So you know since that one just popped up, it's not gonna pop up again. So you gotta like preemptively get your hose over the right one that you think will pop up. But we're gonna be rich in the shop. Open toy box. But is this what they expect you to do? You should get to do more broad sweeping motions. Um, open map. Home or house. Yeah, that doesn't work either. See what we can buy with all this money I've been stockpiling. Maybe if I buy new toys, I'll get more points for using them. Ooh, look, a Sonic. A pizza? No, I don't want that one. No. Pizza. Why is it gotta be a frozen pizza? Bravo. Hey Dixio. What's another toy that I like? Beach ball. Yep, you're the only one here. Oops. Elephant ball. Sure, I'll buy that. Yep, I did this connect stream today because I knew you'd be here. A dog bone, huh? Totally looks like a milk bone. Hey, pizza game. It's a little disappointing that all you can spend your money on is just like cosmetic stuff, seemingly. It'd be cool to like buy new mini games or something. I 
Open toy box. Let's see if I get more points for using a new ball. Or a new frisbee. If I ever watched anime. I mean, sometimes back in the day, not really anymore. But just a week ago, I watched... Uh, a few episodes of Doro Hey Doro on Netflix, which was kind of cool. That's about it. I don't really watch anime because I just watch Twitch instead. If I ever feel like I have time to sit down and watch something, it's usually just watching Twitch, honestly. You cannot stream anime on Twitch. Unless it's um, part of Amazon Prime, then you can stream it for people that have Prime. Yeah, I don't really watch TV shows anymore. Oh, I did get 40 points, I think, for using a new item. I just got 40 points. And 15 more. Huh. Maybe it... Maybe it does give you more points for unlocking new items, which is kind of silly, because that I wish unlocking items were faster. I, I do like horror movies, yes. The gorier, the better. Ooh, the triple shot. We almost got that next mini game already. Oh, we just got it. Wow, that was fast. Throwing that frozen pizza. You know what? There used to be a pier on the other side of this too. The crew of the Bonnie Bonnet have built it back. No, I don't really watch horror movies anymore. Like newer ones. I just don't have the time to research what I want to watch and then watch it. Plus most modern horror movies don't interest me. I have to dig too deep to find ones that interest me. A lot of newer horror movies are supernatural stuff, like little scary kids and ghosts and PG-13 horror films. Like, no, I need people getting ripped in half and blood pouring everywhere. See, and the game agrees with me. I didn't even do anything and say anything, and it, it agrees. Like, Terrifier is probably the last good newer horror movie I've seen, for in terms of, like, what I want to see. Nothing like playing some connectimals and talking about people getting ripped in half, huh? Nice way to spend our Friday. Spray the pop-up targets with the hose. Seems easy. Skittles? We put them out for pasture. I'll show you what we're going to be doing with Skittles in a little bit. Oh, what? Damn, they actually have you reload. That's kind of... Come on. Not the biggest fan of this one. My score is also pretty pathetic. Just 
wiggle the hose. Darn. Not even enough for silver. Yeah, I haven't watched Lighthouse. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be a movie for me. Personally. I need, I need some action in my horror movies. I'm not into the slow burns. Usually. At least not enough to have went to paid money to watch that one came out. I just don't... I don't have the uh, the ambition to keep up with horror movies at the moment. So, when the day comes when I look back in, on the past five years or so, I'm sure there'll be a lot of treasures to check out. What was it that got me into Twitch? Well, I mean, I originally got in the Justin TV, which is what Twitch used to be called back in 2008. Yes. Uh, which watching live streams back in 2008 was pretty revolutionary. So that's the original foundation is watching people just do everyday things or have talk shows or play games 12 years ago. Live was kind of neat. So I just started streaming some older games myself, which was not easy to do back then. All the little kitties that stream now, boy, you guys got it made. If you tried streaming back in 2008, you have no, you have no idea what that was like. You had to like practically hack a computer system to stream back then. I don't remember what the software was called, but holy shit was it. It was like an all-day process to figure out how to get your stream up and running. Now you just hit a button pretty much, and you're live. I mean, hit a button is definitely... There's way more to it than that. And anybody that streams, you know. <laughs> but there is way more to it than that. Especially if you're, like, preparing for your stream. Like, eBay streams, people don't know, but it takes me, like, an hour of setup before I even stream eBay. By the time I get everything in place, get my windows and my setup to make sure all my alert boxes are open, and get my wheel spin windows ready for later, get my P.O. box shit all lined up, get the wheel spin lists actually, like, ready with the correct names, get the playlist going, like, it's an hour of setup before I even start an eBay stream. If people think that you just sit down in a chair, open up your browser, and hit stream, you got no idea. <laughs> open toy box. Yes. Enjoy your last meal. Skittles. What is this one's name? They didn't even give it a, a name, did they? Uh, well, when Twitch first moved from just from being Justin TV to being Twitch, um, I applied for it and just got accepted automatically back then. What am I doing? Oh, feeding him. Because back back then, and it's still the same now, if you have a reputable, like, on my YouTube at the time, I don't know how many subscribers I had, but I probably had somewhere in the realm of, like, 80 to 100,000 subscribers. I don't know what I had at the time. But if you apply and they see, oh, yeah, this guy has a community, an existing community already, 
um, they will give you partnership because they know that on this platform you would grow. Yes, we'll play with the toy. Now we're starting to see the downfall of Connectimals. It's like the constant badgering by the the tigers to to constantly play the same mini games over and over. But I mean, for a kids game, the kids don't care; they don't mind. Nice. Congrats on hitting your affiliate burn high. That's three followers lost for streaming Connectimals tonight. Uh, weeding out the animal haters. Search for sparkles then dip. I normally don't have my follower count up, but since I'm like literally, before the stream started, I was eight followers away from hitting 20,000 followers. I was like, eh, it'll be neat to just see when that actually happens and who the 20th thousand person is. But since I've started streaming Connectimals, people are just unfollowing. That's kind of funny. They can't handle a grown man playing a children's animal game on Connect. Which, by the way, just advice, it is not a good idea for you to keep your follower count open on your stream. Like, if you're new. If, especially if you don't want to know when people are unfollowing. Like, if you're just looking at your follower count as you're streaming, and you see that number drop, you're like, oh, shit. So, yeah, I always have that hidden. <laughs> and this is the specific reason why. Hell yeah. I'll stream some Barbie horse riding. Hit 20,000 and go right back down to 19. Oh yeah. I totally agree, Aragorio. I do it too. Sometimes I follow somebody because they were playing a certain game that I enjoyed. But like... By the dozenth time that I check my follow list and they're playing freaking, you know, the usual kind of bullshit that people stream. Overwatch, League of Legends, you know, that kind of stuff. Rocket League. Uh, I will unfollow people just so that I clean up my follow lists. Or I may not even remember why I followed them, to be honest. Yes. Oh, no, no. <sighs> No. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to have me jump. I was like, hell no. No more jumping. That rope tech, though. It's actually like, I don't like that motion with my arm. It's gonna like throw my arm out of the socket. That's better. Less awkward. Lots of points for doing that. This little guy can't last that long, jeez. I 
I've streamed two Barbie games, but no 3D Barbies. I've streamed Barbie on NES when I speed ran it. And I streamed Barbie Magic Genie or whatever the hell that game was on the Game Boy Color. Both of which were actually pretty decent, especially NES. I don't even know what you mean, Rapid Fire. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Another giant crab, huh? I don't get follow box, no. Ooh, the hat tor curves upwards. Oh, I forgot that you can move your body to affect where it goes. Like, kind of? Look at that accuracy. God damn it. It'd be nice if I could see where I'm aiming with this giant hat. Oh yeah, see, I curved it. Workers. Um, if you ever want to lose me as a follower or somebody that comes to your stream, even if you don't call me out, well, first of all, if you call me out when I come to your stream and I didn't say a word and you're looking at your viewer list and you call me out, that's a surefire way for me to probably never come back to your stream, first of all. But also, I have a really good knack for knowing when people have their viewer list up. I can tell by the way they react and what they're saying. For example, if I join somebody's stream and they got like one viewer, and suddenly I join, they see their viewer count go up. And I'm like a speedrunner for that game or something, right? And they're like, they start referencing stuff about like the other speedrunners of the game or something. I can just tell by the things they're saying that they know that I'm in there and I'm not saying anything. That's another way for me to get you to never come back to your stream. I've seen it happen before. I know when people have their viewer lists so up. I could just tell by what they're saying. The wild Nintendo leaks? No, nah, I didn't look into that. Honestly, I'll just wait. I'll just wait until, like, everything for that is flushed out and somebody has a really awesome video. I just keep forgetting. When I get off of here, I just, like plop down and go to sleep, pretty much. Or if it's a connect stream, take a shower and then go to sleep. Yeah, I just forget. Also probably because um, if it was posted in my Discord, I must have missed it. Usually the, the news that I'm checking is what people post in my Discord or something posted on Twitter or something. You can disable the viewer count. In the Twitch dashboard, you could just click on it and it hides it. Oh, you mean the viewer list itself? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to disable that. Do I want to play with this Cove Serval? Yes. Put... 
another tiger out to pasture. All good things must come to an end. Because now... Oh, he's got a cute little hat. Maybe I'll spare him. Maybe I'll spare him when we go hunting in Cabela Connect.